Hey, thank you for joining us. I'm here again with Ted Thomas, who, of course, is America's tax lien and deed authority. And Ted, um, you know, there's so many subsets of the real estate investing. And today what I want to do is just let's focus on short sales. What exactly is a short sale in real estate? Okay, well, short sales are kind of in the past now. They're not uh, happening a lot right today, but uh, let, let's talk a little bit about it. So basically, a short sale is someone's coming up short. In other words, someone isn't going to get their money, and the someone is going to be the banker. And so what happens is uh, markets go along level for a while, then they start going up, and then sometimes they even crash. And when a market comes down, what happens is the property value is coming down. However, if you had a mortgage on the property, so think of this hand as the mortgage, all right, and you had a property that's way up here in value, and the mortgage is being paid every month, except the value is slowly deteriorating. Okay. All right, so if the value is coming down because we have too much or there's too much foreclosure or we're in a recession or something like that. Now we have a problem because the homeowner is sitting there saying, oh, my goodness, what is going on? This house is costing me X every month, and it's worth less and less every month. So what the homeowner will do, the homeowner, in many cases, will just pack up and leave. And so from the year 2003 all the way through 2000, about 9, 10, and 12, the markets were depressed and going down yet the bankers still had that high loan on the property. Okay. So what many bankers tried to do is they'd say to the bank, will you take a short sale? In other words, will you take less money and bring it down to the market? And so some banks said yes. Many banks said no. So when they said no, the homeowner's got this value down here, yet the mortgage is up here. So the homeowner walked away. Well, so hey, just, just give you just one a, example. Okay, all right. One example would be Orlando, Florida, which is three counties. So it's Orange County, Osceola County, and also Seminole County. Each of those counties had 8,000 foreclosures at the same time. 24,000 foreclosures, people just walking away because the market was coming down. So the properties are just going to foreclosure. So many people tried, they, their market was going down like this, tried to get to the bank to do a short sale. In other words, take less money. They're begging the bank to take less money. So to be clear, is that the owner of the house who's begging the bank or is that somebody who's gonna try and come in to buy the house? And, and to be specific, oh. I mean, cause you, you you talked about foreclosures and wanna make sure I understand what, what the difference is between the foreclosure really and a short really sale. Really good question. Yeah, okay. So the homeowner would love the bank to take a short sale so that they can get out of the deal. They want to get out of the deal, okay? So they want to get free of debt. They want to get rid of the debt. So that the homeowner okay. is trying, okay? Meanwhile, the homeowner is trying to talk to brokers to find someone that will buy it at the lower price, okay? But if the bank doesn't agree, then the homeowner is going to walk away anyway, all right? So the banks, in most cases, did not agree. And if they do agree, if a bank could make a decision in one year, that would be wonderful. Can you imagine waiting one year? What's going on? The payments aren't being made. This guy is not making the payments because this value has dropped. He's not going to put money into a value that's dropped. Well, I'll tell you what, could, yeah. you, could you explain? Could you even go into more uh, detail and explain? So how does buying a short sale work exactly? And as an investor, you know, what's the short sale process that I would be getting into? Well, the investor is trying to buy a property and now trying to buy it at a lower price than before. So if the price was 400,000 before, they're gonna to try to get it down here around 300,000. So the investor might come in and say, look, if you can get the bank to drop the price to, to 300,000, I'll buy it. Okay, the problem is homeowners, they buy houses just to live in them. They don't buy them as investments. They right. turn out as investments, but they need to take care of the kids and they gotta to go to school and you know they gotta take care of it and all that stuff. So homeowners aren't very good. So that the short sale process is not something that, uh, if you're looking for alternative investments, forget that. That's that's just going to take you too long. It's not really, it's not some great market. Now, was it a great market for a very short period of time in 2003, 2004, because you could get a property way down here, way below the market? 
Yes, it might have worked then, but as a business, it's not an alternative investment. It's not something hey, can, can I ask you, able to do. Can I ask you though, like how long does that take? It's not it sounds like a short sale takes a long time, and that sounds like another reason it's kind of a, a bad investment. But how long does it take if somebody's even thinking about doing that? Good good question. It could it could take a bank a year to make that decision. Wow. It would okay. never be less than six months. It's it's a long, long time. And meanwhile, you're dealing with a broker all the time. And if it's not working, what they're going to do is then you're going to hire an attorney. Who's going to pay the attorney? You already don't have enough money because it's in a recession, right? Now you're going to pay it. This is not a, it's not an uncomplex problem. It's a problem part of real estate that happens as real estate goes through. Now, let's say my hand goes up and that's 10 years and it comes down and it's seven years. Then it goes up 10 years and it's a cycle. Real estate is always working in a cycle. Real estate doesn't go instantly up, instantly down. It's a slow cycle down. It's it's painful coming down because everybody's losing. However, the bank, with their rigid mortgage, they've got a rigid mortgage. They want payments all the time. But suddenly, the property is sure. way below the mortgage. A very difficult situation. It's not, so, a, it's not a business that you want to look forward to doing. Now, I know because we're doing these things on the Internet, and what's happening is thousands of people, thousands every month, think they're going to go out and make money on a short sale. Listen, I'm going to tell you, the banks are taking an absolute bath. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's why the banks fail. The ba If the bank fails, now who's going to lend? It? Who are you going to get the money from? Well, and as an investor, Ted, I have to get it. Now I'm understanding even more probably why you prefer buying a tax deed property over short sale homes. <laughs> well, now I've got certainty in everything. Okay, there is no certainty in a short sale because... The attorney doesn't know that that's going to happen. You don't know it's going to happen. The investor doesn't know it's going to happen. And the bank is making all the decision. What if the bank has its hands tied and said, no, we can't do anything? Then the people are just going to walk away. Then it's going to go through the foreclosure. Whereas if I go to a tax auction, there's 3,000 uh, properties that are going to have these tax auctions. That means there's 5,000 auctions. When I buy it, they're going to hand me a deed. That's certainty. I know what I've got. And I know what I can sell it for. Plus, I'm buying at 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. If I buy it from a short sale, all the bank did is take a minor, a minor drop and say, there's still a huge mortgage. When you buy it from a short sale, you're gonna still get a huge mortgage, 60, 70, 80 yeah. percent. You want 60, 70, 80 percent when you can no. buy it for 10 or 20 cents? So definitely tax be deed properties. Is, but of course, you make it sound easy, Ted. You've been doing it for about 30 years. So for folks who are kind of new to the that whole style of investing, do you have a, like a tax deed investing course that you offer folks? And and how do they start this this journey of theirs into this type of well, investment? Well, a couple of things. First of all, let me say this. Thousands of people are looking for a great deal, okay? But the thousands of people don't know about the tax lead and deed auctions. They don't know about them. But they heard about the short sale because the reporters are talking about, bankers are talking about the average market. All right, so what a person needs to do is very easy to do. They could go to my internet site and learn there. They go to tedthomas.com. They could sign up and take an all-day class if they wanted. All right, there's, and there's multiple ways they can do that. They could actually come to a seminar. If they get really, really anxious and want to do it, we could have someone take them to an auction. They could buy for 10 to 20 cents on that. We could do all of that for them. But they just could start out, just go to tedthomas.com. That would be a heck of a place to start. Well, with the, they should do it right now then if they're watching, right? Exactly. Tedthomas.com. Check it out. Get the information. Learn from the pro. And uh, good luck to you.